but it's your girl Kayla here. Thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. I'm super excited because we are beginning to tackle another big project here in the house and that is going to be refinishing the floors. Y'all, I have wanted to refinish these floors for so long. They have the most like oranges hue to them and I'll share with you guys what it looks like a little bit later. We'll do some before and afters, all that good stuff. And I ended up making a little checklist on my planner app. I use this app called Good Notes to just like really help me figure things out. So our timeline, we're just not even gonna talk about that part. <laughs> But I'm hoping we can get this project done in three days. We'll see. The spaces we wanna do, mainly the living room and the dining room, but if we have time, we'll even go into the office and do this space and also do the hallway just so it's done and easy. Um, and then I also wrote down some of the things we need. So if you guys didn't know, you can rent a sander from Home Depot. And it's really inexpensive. We thought about getting someone else to do this job for us, but after like weighing all the costs, we figured we could probably do it ourselves and save some money. So that's what we're doing. The floor sander at Home Depot is $76 a day, or you can get it for $304 for the entire week. We also need a floor edger so we can get like really close to the corners of the wall. These are literally all the things that we need. And, um, so today my plan is to go ahead and just pack up the house, take everything out of the shelving, all my little decor pieces. We're going to take all that out and put them into boxes. I have like all the boxes right here behind me. And then we also talked about where we're going to move things to because at first we were going to run a pod, but it's like we can shuffle some things around the house and again, save some money. So we are going to move the hutch to the kitchen. The sofas are gonna go in the sunroom. The entertainment center is gonna go in the guest bedroom. The dining room table, we're gonna donate it. And then uh, if we get to the office, Marcus's desk will go in our bedroom and that's just where he'll work for the next few days. And all the boxes that I'm gonna make are gonna go in the center. So hopefully that plan works out or just like, gonna play Tetris over here. We need to go to Home Depot, of course, and pick up the sander, pick up some stain options, which will be really fun. Let's go ahead now, you guys, and begin packing up the house. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter. Maybe you taste it. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different
All right, y'all, so we were able to get the Azure, and this is what it looks like right here. Here's the floor sander. It took us three different Home Depots to find this baby, but we finally got it, and um, he showed us how to use it. Seems pretty easy. To go along with it, we got all these different types of sandpaper and of various assorted grits. So we got 36, 60, and 100 to finish it off. And then we'll come back later on to get like all the stain and stuff. But this is a 36. You can see like how much grittier it is. It's really coarse, but this is supposed to strip off the most. So we got three of each size. Okay y'all, so now it is the next day and it is time to move all of the big furniture out of the way so we can finally begin sanding. But first, I had to rearrange a few things in the kitchen so that we could access a lot of the appliances and dry pantry goods that we use the most because the plan was to put the hutch right here in front of this open shelving. But as you guys will see in a minute, we thought we were gonna just be able to like slide the hutch in but oh no, it was too tall, it wouldn't fit. So we actually ended up having to change the plan a little bit and take the hutch apart. And y'all, the hutch is so, so heavy. It gave me a run for my money. But yeah, right here you guys see, we quickly realized like, oh no, this isn't gonna work. So since we were going to have to take the hutch apart, I went ahead and started making a few boxes so we could take out the things that were in the cabinets like our candles and party supplies. See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment Give you a moment with me Spend all the roses Spend all the roses with me And now that the hutch was out, we began to move all the other furniture pieces out as well. Since we were stuck in LA, we can't jump the rooftop and come watch the sky on me. Good morning, you guys. So it is the next day and 
we are about to get started it's standing this morning the goal is to get this room completed so we're gonna go from 36 grid to 60 to 100 and i think that it's gonna take care of everything we just were watching some videos just freshening up our knowledge on how to use the sander that we got from home depot it seems fairly simple but you know this is our first time doing it so we're just gonna see how it works out there's a few more things that we need to move out of this room first we have a mirror right here and a basket and then the curtains we were going to um take them down what i'm thinking now we'll just go ahead and flip them up and then we also have to cover up any vents in here and turn off the heat so we're gonna do all those things real quick and then we're gonna get to sanding i'm so excited i cannot wait oh is it just a game because i got high y'all so we have pretty much all the outlets covered we're gonna be using this one um, this access to the kitchen is covered that's covered down there that outlet that here that was like our last big thing that we had to do so now I think that we're actually ready to go ahead and start standing we are gonna put on our masks and stuff and then get started so we're gonna start with our masks and stuff and then get to it and I cannot wait to see Sever the ties, but I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see, but never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. So at this point, everything is going pretty well. We see that with a 36 grit, it's able to get up a lot of the top coat that's on our hardwood floors and get it down to that original wood. And it's looking so fantastic. If you do decide to refinish and sand your hardwood floors, I do recommend that you have at least two people or someone help you because um, the court can get in the way if you're doing it on your own. So that's why you see me guys on court duty. And not only that, it's also good just to have a second pair of eyes, make sure that everything is okay. And then another reason I'd recommend to do this with two people is so that you can have someone sweep up like as you're going through because sometimes the dust does not all get captured in the dust bag and you don't want to keep going over that dust again and again um, with the sander. Lucky, lucky, lucky Lucky, 
Okay, y'all, so it's going pretty, pretty good. The only thing that I do want to warn you guys about is what's happening to our sandpaper, and it's causing like little marks on the floor. So I'm guessing this is like the old stain or varnish gloss top coat or whatever. And because of this, like it causes little streaks on the floor and we're not able to get as smooth of a finish. We're going ahead and switching it out now because we don't want, um, like the part that the floor is going over in this, it's, it's heating up and it's causing gunk to get on, the, even more gunk to get on the floor. So um, I might be able to take this off. Looks like it's peeling up when I flex the paper. That's the only issue we're having right now. But I really like the way it looks. Like the floors are so pretty. And we're learning our technique, you know. So even after changing the sanding paper, we ran into the same problem again, where the new one started to get gunked up on like both sides. So we did some research and we realized that perhaps it was too much pressure being put on those ends of the sanding belt. So Marcus kind of jerry-raked it a little bit so that the lever doesn't go all the way down in contact with the floor and that helped so, so, so much. So I think it was just eating up the floor too much, too fast. Um, and we also, with our pace, we went a little faster because at first we were going really slow because that's what I saw in a lot of the videos, but it helped us to go faster. Another thing I want to touch on really quick is that our floors aren't completely level so some spots unfortunately the sander wasn't able to hit. We're going to have to do them like by hand so um, no matter how many times we would go over a spot if it was too low the sander couldn't reach it so it just became you know counterproductive to go over it so many times after we realized that like the sander just wasn't able to get the lower spots of our floor. So if you run into that problem, it's not you, it's your floors.
Okay guys, I wanna give y'all a little update. So I went out to get us some lunch, we're starving. And while I was gone, Marcus was working on edging. So he's gonna continue doing that and I'm going to go ahead and begin doing the 80 grit on these floors. So first we started off with 36 as you guys know. And now we are gonna move on to 80. And then after 80, we are going to do 100 to finish it off. So yeah, I'm hoping that will go super duper smoothly. Once we get all this done, we're gonna take a trip to Home Depot to return the equipment because we're thinking now it's gonna be best for us to do one room at a time. Also gonna pick out some stain colors and I'm gonna need you guys' help letting me know what stain color we should choose from. I love the way the floors look right now. It makes the room look so like bright, but of course we can't leave them like this. They have to be either stains or we have to put a clear coat on top, something to protect them or we can make them a different color. So I cannot wait for us to swatch those a little bit later. It's a sour taste in it. It's a sour taste to be fooled again, honey. To be fooled again. Stole my heart and ripped it into pieces. Yes, you did. You know it's not the way I planned. No, it's not the way I wanted. No, it's not the things I meant. Know that I'm not being honest. Not the way I wanted us to make it. Oh, so we got pine. So. Yeah, so. Summer oak, golden oak. I like oak. golden oak. That's pretty. Oak, yeah, it got more orange in it. So golden oak. This is like what we had. Yeah, golden oak or natural, I guess. Golden oak. Where's natural? Oh, yeah. Natural's really pretty. What do you think about golden pecan? It's giving a little bit too much orange for me. Yeah. Too, much, too reminiscent of what we already got. Okay. Dark walnut's pretty if we were trying to do something dark. But we're not, so, y'all. Natural so, and... Natural and then golden, golden oak. oak. From this brand, Barathane. And then while you're grabbing those, I want to look at the bear. Because bear has prime... I mean, stain too, you guys. And these are the colors. They're really, really pretty. One, like, which finish are we going to do? Satin? Semi-gloss or gloss? You know I like the gloss, but maybe semi we best. So you guys, we have like a few little holes in our floor because the previous owners had carpet on top of those hardwood floors for a while. And so um, with the, like the carpets, a lot of staples and like nail holes and things like that. So we're thinking something like this will work. They have it in a natural color. And then I just saw that they had it in golden oak. So we're not gonna buy it just yet because we don't know which color we're gonna go with. But this will be really, really great because it's already the color that we need. Because before we were thinking of doing just wood glue. And I'm trying to see what else they have just so I can make sure I am like all good to go. So they have these fill sticks as well. Which, let's see what it is. So it's for use on tabletops, furniture molding. Okay, this may not be the best thing, but fill nail holes and repair scratches in wood. If this was for, for floors, you guys, this would be so perfect because we have quite a few holes to fill in. So yeah. All right, y'all, I actually just read the back and it does say that you can use this little fill stick on floors. So it's another option. These are the different colors that you can use this one for. Golden oak, pine, and golden pecan, which were two of the colors that we're getting. So yeah, just looking at these accessories so we know when we come back what our options are for filling in the holes, but I think we'll probably lean towards something like this. Okay, you 
guys, so we made it back home. Now we are about to swatch like all the cute little things that we got on the floor. And we need you guys to help to let us know which one you like the best. At this time, I don't even know what we're looking towards, but I'm excited to get those down on the floor. And another thing that we need to do, hopefully we'll get it done in this video, we'll see. We do need to continue edging around the border of this room. But I love the way that it looks. I feel like it looks so good. It's such like a big change. The room feels so much brighter and lighter. The darkest color that we picked out so we really want a natural kind of woodish look because we have a lot of light toned wood all throughout the house we put your black countertop table work is built for us it's like a lighter wood color and um yeah so i think that would be like ideally what we would want but we will just have this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, you guys. So again, this is early American. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'll wipe some of the excess away. And now we're going to do golden pecan. This is a color I've I don't even know if I've used this one in the past. I feel like I have, but honestly, I can't remember. But that is golden pecan. That's so pretty. Now, let's go for golden oak up here. See how that one's gonna do. So let's see. We've used natural so many times in the house. Like almost everything that is wood is staying natural up in here. I feel like the natural is looking a lot more like golden oak and now I'm wishing we would have just got a clear coat to see what this would have looked like with just clear. Okay y'all, so we are trying to like discuss everything. We have to let these dry for a little bit, but like I was just telling Marcus, I wish we would have gotten just like a sample of a poly so we could put that down on the floor. Cause right now y'all, I'm loving the golden pecan, but I'm gonna show you guys in the morning so you can get a true look and then you can comment down below and let me know what you think. Okay y'all, so we went to Home Depot to pick up just a clear coat, which is what we were gonna be putting on top of all of these floors anyway, but this will just help like the natural floor shine. So we're gonna see how it looks with the clear coat on top because I'm feeling like with these things we have right here, the floor isn't as light as I'd want it to be. I don't know, so let's see, let's just see, I don't know. Okay y'all, so that's clear and these are what the other swatches are looking now. It's been about an hour or so since 
we did these and we're gonna come back in the morning and see what they look like in the sunlight and then we'll just go from there all right you guys it is the next morning it's super duper bright outside well coming in from this way so um this is what everything is looking like right now y'all so what do you guys think let me um lower the exposure to normal okay there we go what are you guys thinking right now i'm kind of leaning towards the clear or the golden pecan i don't know i just like those two the best but marcus really likes golden oak so yeah y'all help us make a decision and then in the next video we have to completely like stain the entire floor we have some painting work to do some caulking to do and this house like this room did not come with any quarter round so we're gonna add it like literally everywhere along the trim oh we also have to finish edging we did not do that so yeah y'all thank you so much for tuning into today's video i hope you really enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys